In this video, I'll show you how to use CellSense software's naming and saving tools. First, I'll show you how to customize the way acquired images are named. Click on the icon that looks like a video camera with a hand on top above the Live and Snap button in the Camera Control Tool window. This will take you to Acquisition Settings. If your Camera Control Tool window is invisible, click View, Tool Windows, and Camera Control. In the Acquisition Settings, go to Document Name, then Snapshot. Click Customize, and then Text. Now you can enter a prefix you would like to use in your image names. The default is Image. In the preview area, you can see how your images will be named. The prefix will be followed by a count number that advances every time you take a snapshot. Even if you close the program and restart it, the counter will pick up after the last image you snapped. You can also tell the program to start at a specific number by entering it in the counter start. Change the counter digits to tell the program how many digits of the counter to display. Using the reset will reset the counter to 1 once you restart the program. If you deleted an image within the range of images that are open, it will assign the next snap to the first available number. Here's an example. I have five images open and I'm going to delete image three. Then when I click snap, you can see that the next image is image three. And if I snap again, the next image is image 6. Next, I'll show you how to select other data that can be added to the image name. Go to All Options, select the data that you would like to include from the list on the left, and click the Add button. To remove these data, select it from the list on the right and hit the Remove button. The same naming functionality is available for movies, and processes and experiments. You can also configure the software to automatically save images, movies, and processes. This is also found in acquisition settings under saving. To enable automatic saving, choose the file system. Selecting prompt will bring up a save as dialog every time you hit snapshot. File system enables you to select the type of image it will be saved as. We recommend TIFF for most applications. If you want to compress your images, choose Compression in Options. Select Close after Save if you'd like the image in CellSense software to close once it's automatically saved. Under Directory, you can choose where the image is saved by clicking the three dots to the right of the path. When you save images automatically after snapshot, you can save images that belong together in their own directory. By default, all the images acquired the same day will be saved together in a directory. Each day, a new directory is created. To change the subdirectory's name, click the Customize button to see the available criteria or click the New Text if you want to add your own. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit olympus-lifescience.com.